Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at these two releases here of River Song Sonic Screwdriver from the Series 4 episodes Silence in the Library and Forest of the Dead. This is the original release here from Character Options from 2008, and this is the re release from Underground Toys from about 2015. There are another two releases of this Sonic Screwdriver that we got in the Wave 1 and Wave 4 re-releases from about nine years ago now for the 50th anniversary, but we'll save looking at them for another time. Both of these here are mint sealed in their packaging, of course, <laughs> but we've got this one here and this one here that we'll take a closer look at. But first things first, let's take a look at the packaging. So we'll start off with taking a look at the original release. And here it is here in the original orangey red fiery flame style guide, which it suits rather well. You can see it does come in a lot smaller box than what the original 9th and 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver releases came in. Uh, but these are in the exact same uh, style of box as the Masters Laser Screwdriver releases. So yeah, they all look pretty good alongside each other. You can see the Sonic Screwdriver from the window here. You get a pretty decent view of it against the blue backdrop, which has got some hexagonal patterns on and an image of the TARDIS. You could probably just about see that in there. You see, we've got the 2005 to 2010 Doctor Who logo at the top with future Sonic Screwdriver along the bottom and a nice image there of Professor River Song herself, Alex Kingston, holding the sonic screwdriver. Pretty cool. Up here you can see include red and blue settings with an image of the sonic in its different settings there. And over here with lights, sound effects and hidden neural relay indicator panel. And you can see you get a nice image of the indicator panel <laughs> right there. Uh, looking at the side, you can see the Doctor Who logo and Future Sonic Screwdriver again, as well as the top. Uh, we've got it there as well. Also, the Character Options website. Uh, we've got a little Character Options logo at the bottom there too. At the back, or should I say at the bottom, <laughs> it is uh, just some legal information that no one really wants to see. Turning to the back, uh, we've got a bit more legal information, uh, as well as the instructions, a bit of instructions on some battery replacements there. And we've got the little shiny licensed product Doctor Who sticker, which is cool. Uh, some more information from character options there, their details, their website again. Moving up, uh, it's just basically some more information that they, that they gave us on the front, but a better image of the Sonic in its different settings there. And yeah, that's it for the original release. Now looking at the Underground Toys re-release, you can see it's pretty much in the same style of box, but this time we have the diamond style guide with the classic Doctor Who logo. And we've got a blue diamond backdrop this time, but uh, pretty much the same style of box and everything like that. Uh, this box also suffers from the same problem that the Masters laser screwdriver release re-release had you know where the diamond logo uh, covers the emitter of the sonic screwdriver which is a shame but uh you know what what can you do <laughs> so yeah we got a picture of river holding her sonic screwdriver again here along the bottom we've got the 10th doctor 2005 to 2010 because obviously this is from his era of the show and here we've got River Song's future Sonic Screwdriver. So on the original release, it's just called Future Sonic Screwdriver. Whereas on this re-release, they've called it River Song's future Sonic Screwdriver, which I think sounds better. Uh, you can see this one also has a little choking hazard uh, warning logo, uh, as well as the BBC logo. And down here, instead of the Character Options logo, we've got the Underground Toys logo and their website. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here we go, includes red and blue settings again, uh, as the same on the original, except this time 
the image stretches around to the side. We've got no logo or anything on the side this time. At the top though, oh, this way, at the top, we've got the classic Doctor Who logo again, River Song's future sonic screwdriver. And this time we've got the character options uh, website at the top. So we've got both websites on there. Turning around to the back, you can see, uh, well, the bottom is the same legal information. <laughs> the back is some more legal information. This time we've got the character options and underground toys details. Uh, no shiny sticker on this one. And we've got the battery replacement instructions there. And pretty much the same details uh, that we got on the front, a better look out there, Sonic in action. And there we go, that is it for the packaging. Both of these Sonic screwdrivers come with demo batteries. This one uh, has them just behind River Song. Don't know whether you'll be able to see them, probably not. But they are down there, corroding away. <laughs> uh, on this one, they are inside the Sonic screwdriver already, pre-installed, which, you know, is handy, but also because I haven't opened them, they'll just be corroding away inside the uh, Sonic screwdriver, which isn't great, isn't great. So let's take a look at the screwdrivers themselves. Of course, let's finally get to the screwdrivers, by me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, start off by saying that both of these are pretty much the same. There's not much differences. They've both got the same features. They both look the same. Uh, it's a straight up re-release, which is great because, you know, there was nothing wrong with this original release. It's probably one of the best uh, screwdrivers that character options have done and it looks very accurate it has a lot of detail the paint application is fantastic you know it just looks it just looks spot on so yeah we'll start off by taking a look at the bottom the end cap section you can see there resembles the 10th doctor screwdriver slightly and it was obviously meant to but yeah the end cap section looks pretty cool and it's totally removable. You just give it a twist and it pops off. And that's how you get to the battery compartment. You can see it's got some legal information on there, which is better on there than it on the outside. <laughs> but yeah, pop the end section back on, give it a twist. And you can see it leads up to this ring section, which would have been brass on the prop. So the brass ring section, I guess, which has been replicated pretty well here. Looks really good. And moving up to the main part of the body, you can see we've got the crackle pattern, which is looking pretty good with some more detail in here with these, I guess, bolts or whatever they are. And this part up here is looking pretty good. So on one side, we have the hidden neural relay indicator panel, which you can pull off here. There you go. And on the other side, we got the activation button, which is right here, which attaches to uh, <laughs> the fluid link, <laughs> uh, which goes down to the user recognition ring. Of course, so it can detect the right user is using the Sonic. <laughs> um, but yeah, moving up to the emitter section, you can see we've got the dampers here. We've got a damper, uh, four dampers, one on each strut, looking pretty cool. And the emitter dome, the clear emitter dome. Obviously it's clear on the toys, but on the props it was blue or red, and or both. <laughs> so by pressing the activation button, you can see it activates the blue LED and the sonic sound. But if you take off the cover there, and you just press the button that's underneath the neural relay indicator panel, it changes it to the red setting. So now you press the activation button, it lights up red and it plays a slightly higher pitch sonic sound. Looks pretty good. So it's got the same sound chip as the 10th Doctor's, the original 10th Doctor's sonic screwdriver probably. But yeah, you can just press that and it changes between the two. Uh, if you hold the button, then the neural relay indicator lights up for about 10 seconds. That's just uh, Little green LED that just blinks in there for about 10 seconds and when that's on you can't activate the uh, sonic light and sound effects from the top 
outfit. That's fine because it's a pretty cool feature that I'm really glad they added because I absolutely loved this screwdriver as a kid. It was one of my favorites and probably my favorite scene is when the doctor uploads uh, River to the data core in uh, Forest of the Dead. And plus, I've always loved the idea of the red setting. It's just a cool idea. And yeah, it's just fantastic overall. Uh, it's a real shame they only released these screwdrivers twice. Well, like this twice. Obviously, we got the re-releases in the Wave 1 and Wave 4, but it's been so long now since these were released, they can be quite difficult to find. And if you do manage to find one, they can be, you know, quite pricey. But with the 60th anniversary coming up next year, who knows? Hopefully, hopefully, character options will give us some re-releases. <laughs> Fingers crossed, anyways. But yes, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.